The space race is officially on for billionaires. Richard Branson went first, but Jeff Bezos went further. A trip with their companies can cost anywhere between $250,000 and $28 million. We decoded what it takes to get rich people to space and what it means for the future of space travel. Branson traveled on Virgin Galactic's space plane VSS Unity, which is powered by a rocket engine. It's 60 feet long, with a wingspan of 27 feet. The plane can rotate its wings and tail in what's called feathering. It mimics the aerodynamics of a badminton shuttlecock. Feathering helps with re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, and the wings can be rotated back to help the aircraft land. The flight on July 11th was Virgin Galactic's fourth crewed mission, but its first with a full staff. Two pilots and four passengers were on board, including Branson. On the other hand, Blue Origin's new Shepard spacecraft is more like a traditional rocket. The crew capsules attach to the top of a booster that includes an engine to get the rocket into space. And these fins at the top and bottom help stabilize the booster as it's taking off and coming down. And this landing gear guides the booster to touch down close to the takeoff point. New Shepard can carry six passengers, and none of them are pilots. The system is fully autonomous. July 20th was Blue Origin's first passenger flight. Bezos, his brother, 82-year-old pilot Wally Funk, and 18-year-old Dutch student Oliver Damon were on board. Funk is the oldest, and Damon is the youngest to ever go to space. One anonymous person paid $28 million in an auction to be on the flight, but had a scheduling conflict. All the other test runs have gone without people on board, or with a crash dummy named Mannequin Skywalker. Both spacecrafts are designed to be reusable, which cuts down on the price to launch. They're also both suborbital, which means the spacecraft isn't powerful enough to go into orbit around Earth. Still, they go fast. Both can travel at more than three times the speed of sound, or about 2,300 miles per hour. Now for the launch. VSS Unity launched from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. The space plane took off attached to a larger mothership called VMS Eve. This plane has four engines and two plane bodies. And about 45 minutes later, 50,000 feet in the air, VMS Eve dropped VSS Unity. The pilots, Dave McKay and Michael Masucci, ignited the rocket engines and tilted the space plane nearly vertical. It only took about two and a half minutes for the plane to reach its highest point at 282,000 feet, or about 53 miles. Then the pilots killed the engines. Four, command engine start. Two, one. Bezos and the New Shepard crew took off near Van Horn, Texas. The rocket launched with the crew capsule attached to about 351,000 feet, or 66 miles. Three minutes after launch, the rocket booster detached. Both pieces continued climbing. Every passenger got their own window to look out of. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Oh, wow. Meanwhile, the VSS Unity's crew felt weightlessness for about five minutes. And now I'm looking down at a beautiful spaceport. Uh, congratulations to everybody for, uh, for creating such a beautiful, beautiful place. Congratulations to all our wonderful team at Virgin Galactic for 17 years of hard, hard work to get us this far. But gravity wouldn't allow either of them to stay for long. VSS Unity began its descent, and New Shepard was pulled back to Earth after three minutes of weightlessness. And after all of this, there's still a catch. Blue Origin says that VSS Unity didn't actually go to space. NASA and the US government recognized anything above 50 miles in the air as space. But Blue Origin cites the internationally recognized Kármán line at about 62 miles in the atmosphere. By that definition, VSS Unity, which hit 53 miles in altitude, didn't enter space. But that didn't stop Branson and the VSS Unity crew from celebrating when they touched down. Branson has poured an estimated $1 billion into the company since he founded it in 2004. What a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Bezos got down in a different way. The New Shepard crew capsule deployed three parachutes to land 11 minutes after takeoff. You get blue control, Bezos, best day ever. Like Branson, Bezos has invested his personal wealth into Blue Origin, which he founded in 2000. His trip to space was 21 years and $7.5 billion in the making. Both Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin have received FAA approval to fly customers to space. 
Virgin Galactic is planning on running two more test flights before it actually starts taking passengers. About 600 people, including celebrities like Tom Hanks and Lady Gaga, have already signed up. They've paid as much as $250,000 for a ticket to space, and prices are likely to go up. Blue Origin also wants to take tourists to space, and opened sales after Bezos landed. Both companies are also hoping to use their technology to assist in research expeditions. But for now, it looks like you'll just need to have at least a quarter of a million to spare. <laughs>